Today marks three years since Jimmy Georgeson was killed at a Medford Albertsons parking lot. Medford police say U.S. Marshals were trying to arrest Georgeson on a federal probation violation warrant on the night that he was shot and killed. A spokesman for the U.S. Marshals said during the arrest, Georgeson tried to use his car as a deadly weapon, but the Marshals office could not elaborate on that. That's when two deputy marshals opened fire and Georgian was shot and killed. Two other friends in Georgian's car were not hit and briefly questioned by police. Now his family is fighting a new battle against the government to protect the victims of future officer-involved shootings. News Watch 12's Connor Wist is live at the Albertsons where the shooting took place three years ago today with details about where the case stands now. There are still many questions about what happened here on January 5th, 2012. And if you actually take a look around, this is the spot where this fatal shooting did happen three years ago today. I spoke with Jimmy Georgeson's family members today. They say the pain of them missing him is strong, but their fight for his case is even stronger. Family members and friends gathered at his ashes where they're buried today. The U.S. Marshal is trying to dismiss this case from going any further. But today, the family's attorney filed a memorandum stating their reason reasons for keeping the case open. The family is voicing questions and concerns about the way the investigation was handled. They say identical testimonies from the U.S. Marshal, missing surveillance tapes, and failure to secure the crime scene are all reasons this case should remain unlocked. Even knees deep in details of the investigation, the family took time today to remember, to remember their son, brother, and friend. I think I guess my most favorite memories was when we were younger and spent a lot of time at the skate park. I never knew how many people's lives he had touched and how many people knew my son. The memorandum is 10 pages long, filled with questions, questioning the actions and decisions of the U.S. Marshal deputies made on the night Jimmy Georgian was killed. And this is actually a copy of that memorandum, 10 pages long. The family also wants this as to serve as a message for kids dealing with dis disabilities, and they are hoping this will not happen to any other families in the future. Live in Medford, Connor West, Newswatch 12.